This is Twit. There is another <laughs> maybe security flaw. Security researcher Linus Hanza has <laughs> put up a video demonstration of what he claims is a exploit in Mojave that lets him access passwords stored in the keychain, passwords that are theoretically encrypted. But he says, I'm not going to tell Apple at a protest because yep. the bug bounty program only applies to iOS. He wouldn't get any money for a Mac OS flaw. Yep. So he posted the exploit in, on video, but not the information about it. And he's not telling Apple. He calls the it biggest problem with this, stealing. like, I, I, I understand this and I feel where he's coming from. There absolutely should be a Mac bounty program. They launched the iOS bounty program. And I know Apple's planning one. They've, they've said as much. They just haven't got it out yet. And that's terrible. Like, it should have come out with the iOS bug. But, you know, he, the thing with these exploits is you never know who else has them. And he's discovered one. And, yes, he's, he's kind of holding, holding Apple hostage, but he's also holding all of us hostage. And I'm pretty sure if he just said, I have this issue and Apple's terrible and they don't give me a bounty, sort of like what happened with the FaceTime bug, he would have gotten just as much press as anything else and we would have gotten a fix sooner. So I feel mm. very conflicted about the, the well, methodology the other, he's using to get attention. Re re remember, the other big problem is that uh, to, in in his defense, these uh, these exploits take they're they're almost creative works. They take time to figure out and to document and to figure out exactly what's going on here. And so, bug bounties are a way for these people who are security experts to get paid for their work. And if it's not Apple that's going to pay them, there are certain government agencies and foreign agencies and private security agencies that will pay him to figure out how to get, get into some passwords keychain because they are the people that the police turn to that corporate security turns to when they need to get at information that is being protected uh, so if I apple doesn't totally do it, agree it's, I, it's I totally a really agree. I just, I just don't think they should extort us they should shame apple like what he's doing now hurts both us and apple and i think he should just hurt apple is my only thing. yeah i uh you know remember it was a little controversial apple didn't offer bug bounties for many years only recently started the ios plan yeah. and the and the i understand apple's thinking there they didn't want to drive the price up a a bidding, war, bidding yeah. wars. They wanted people to, to tell them out of the goodness of their heart and out of their interest in protecting everybody who uses the platform. Because you can't compete with nation states. If South if North Korea says, hey, we'd like that, how are you going to compete with them? They're going to offer you millions of dollars. Apple can't well, do that. The, On the, the other hand, if you don't do it at all, then, yep. then you get people like Linus. It's like says, iTunes. Well, you offer enough where good-hearted people will take you rather than the alternatives. And, and, the, and, the other, and the other problem is that this is a constant refrain in all <laughs> big business industries that Apple is – Apple has the resources to reward people and to pay people, but they, they want people to do things out of the kindness of their heart. That's not correct. That's not right. That's uh, it's again, it's a it's a if Apple were an individual, then that would be a very human thing for them to think. But to basically say we want you to help us to protect uh, all of our users. But we want you we don't not in a way that would cost us twenty five thousand well, dollars every time someone finds this thing. I, well, I think they pay. I, they're just not paying for Mac OS, which is dumb. And, and yeah. in a more show my screen, if you would, because this is the and a, and a more in, in a simple in simple fashion. This is the exploit. He's written a program called key steal he's he's demonstrating that he can unlock the passwords without him entering the passwords and from a more uh, selfish perspective it's just that you you want people to be able to dedicate time to fixing your os you yep. know so by paying them it's it's not a matter of goodness of their heart or not they could always make more money with a with a exploit like this selling to a government um entity so you just want to give them but, something but but giving them allowing them when you pay them to do it it allows them to spend time uh working on it you you've you've been, you have a bunch of people now engaged in i want to you know i'm gonna i think that there might be something down here or i have an idea and you're not going to have all those ideas in-house you know and, and having people out out of house trying to come up with them is not a bad idea so i i uh, i definitely think that apple should be providing a bounty for these so well, yeah, they do i mean they totally do they just have for, for some reason have not done it for mac and which is perplexing apparently reason to do it i uh i hope he'll relent after a week and just give it to them and uh and do the right thing or they'll figure it out um yeah maybe it's sufficient it. for them to figure it out i don't right. know it didn't sh really but other people anything. could figure it out in the meantime too other people already have it and have been using it for years right. and we don't know about it that's what renee would you me. say that then people should not use a uh, keychain to store passwords use something else no, I mean, again, like for there's always going to be errors in code. And a lot of this stuff isn't the fact that exploits exist or don't exist, but the threat level to you. And most people aren't a high level threat. Like, you know, if, 
as we saw this week, if you're Jeff Bezos, then you've got to do an incredible job of computer hygiene and best practices. <laughs> Andrew, but for most of us, yeah, exactly, yeah, <laughs> totally. But for and for even most of he, us, by like the way, was not invulnerable yes. to a nation state. No, or or well, the sister's was, boyfriend, whatever they finally. No, they, yeah, apparently yeah. his experts at this point think, say it wasn't a uh, individual hack; it was a hack from a. I and mean, yeah, but they were hack. saying it was the boyfriend. So I mean, like, there's Gross. so many stories now. Right. Don't either. Like, I, just don't have. Yeah, don't I, have. Don't date people with boyfriends or with nation states. No, we think it's a nation state. Yeah.